sometimes where now they discuss scriptures themselves. Because many people, you'll be preaching to them here, preaching to them here, there's no verse. When they go and sleep there, they open TV. They're watching uh, No Retreat, No Surrender. <laughs> Until 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, No Retreat, No Surrender. No retreat. People are killing each other there. They are watching. Others are watching pornography. From here, from the class here. Others, they are just watching soccer. Uh, they're watching soccer. They do like this. They go like they, No, nothing. When somebody do like this, everybody is enjoying soccer there. The, the players of soccer, they are paid for their enjoyment. Yourself, now, you want, you, you favor Sundown or Chiefs, you just say, yeah, 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 real winner, more real winner, real winner. But after they take their cup going home, they don't even know you. From there, it's you now, carry flag, fella, but you don't even have, they don't even know you. You have got something to do now. When I, you're in favor of Kaiser Chiefs, or Sundown, whatever. And they don't even know you. They don't even know you. You can't even take something that will benefit your life. Here you are just holding a flag. You do like this. If the, you do like this. Your plate is Kaiser Chiefs. This one, uh, your... I mean, every, even your blanket. But you've got the Bible here that produces everything. You don't see it. I'm sure you're hearing me now. Huh? This is the time now of taking the word of God very serious. Sometimes my mother give them scriptures. Have it in your class there. Sometimes make it a class where you question them. We need to see people growing. Right now in our churches now, if you, you, you go to church, you want to be prophesied. You come back with prophecy, not with any verse. That is why you find that now, we people who prophesy now, we are getting a lot of money from you. Because now, you'll be coming to give us money, even the money you were not supposed to be giving us. Because you love prophecy than the word. So that is the reason why you find our black churches now they are full of people who don't have the Bible, who don't know the Bible. And at the end of the day, when problem strikes, sometimes if somebody clap you, you even forget. You forget who is in you. Because the word of God is not there. Because listen to this, if you have got the word of God, any temptation around you is searching for that word. So now, if you see whatever, whoever hates you, fight you, it's not something to entertain. You quote scriptures that is in you. Thank you, Lord, for this word. I thank you. When you do that, you are moving forward. You don't retaliate like the person of the world. The reason why people now take advantage of others, fighting others, is because they don't have the word of God. Somebody can still preach or prophesy, deliver without the word. Because how do you know what is, I'm saying is prophecy? But the word of God judges me there. Because the word of God throughout the whole day will judge me. I prophesy, okay? Okay, your name is Malihori. Huh? Amen. You are Johanna. Huh? Yes, yes. But after this, I go and sleep around. And the word of God say what there? Let's judge by the word of God. So at the end of the day, after I prophesy you, whatever, what I'm saying will never come to pass. That's where you find that now, we pastors now, what we are doing now, we can end up acting down. You just come here, can you walk like this? Just come here, walk like this. Can't you? Because of the word of God, there's no power. How long you have got this problem? Five years. Five years. Be straight now. You are healed. This is the problem we have today. I don't know if you are hearing me. This is the problem we have. Let's go back to where? 
to the word of God. So, if we stay in the word of God, no one will catch us. so. If you know, one day you'll find that if I'm not living right, how can I know all of you? I'll be driving a car like this and meet this lady come. I don't know her. Maybe I meet this lady because the church is big here. I start to say, which church are you going? And this lady will start to be afraid. She's afraid to tell me. I begin to say, you are beautiful. I want to marry you. And deep down, I say, ah, I'm Ruti. One day you will catch me. I can hide for 10 years. I, I, don't, I don't know if you're hearing me. We, if I don't have the word of God, one day you will catch me. Okay. So I'm just saying this so that you must know that we need what? It will reprimand us. It will instruct us. It will guide us. It will reprove us. And if we do that, it will go where God wants us to be.